Hey everyone, Ryan here. So as of last Friday, we have a new Undisputed Champions. And what's gonna happen with the future of other titles on the hand in the future? All this up next. Okay, so we have learned uh, last Friday night, we have new Undisputed Champions, which is the Usos are the new Undisputed uh, Tag Team Champions as it is, as they've defended the RK Bro team. But uh, the reason I wanted to do this video, of course, what do you guys actually feel about this reaction? I know there was, uh, since I was watching this on TV, a lot of disappointed faces at, out in the crowd, including me, uh, the way uh, this match was actually won. I'm actually surprised they brought this match uh, back down, which I'm glad they did, but I kind of wish they would have started off this uh, match at uh, first. It seems, it seems like they ended this uh, match so quickly as it is. They had to get Roman Reigns to get involved with this match. I would have liked uh, the scene, uh, this match in Hell on Seven without uh, no outside distraction as it is because it seemed uh, Paul Heyman even just got just into this match somehow towards the end of this as well. So what do you guys feel about this match? I feel RK Bro kind of got cheated out of this uh, match and this big attack afterwards. So what, what the heck? What the heck's happening here? <laughs> I want RK Bro to still be a, a fraction of a team as it is. They're great together. Riddle and uh, or Randy Orton are, are really good team. The, what does this mean? Because they, they will, the Usos and uh, even Roman Reigns get a beat down on uh, both of them towards the the final seconds of, of this uh, the show on last Friday Night SmackDown. So what's going to happen with that? And since we're talking about unification of belts as well, too, what's going to happen with uh, future belts as well, too? Because we now know that uh, Bianca Belair is on uh, the Raw, women's champion over on Raw, and we have Ronda Rousey over on Friday Night SmackDown as champion. Do you actually think they probably might uh, unite these belts as well, too? We can see uh, Bianca Belair in the Ronda Rousey match, which, by the way, that would be a really good match. I don't think they will carry this out to hell on a sub, but maybe since SummerSlam is just around the corner, maybe this could be our match to uh, unite these uh, women's sisters as well, too. I don't know if I like these unification match. I really feel both shows should have uh, champions on both shows as it is. But have we? that's another question to you guys at WWE Universe. What do you guys actually feel with these unification matches as it is? Since uh, Roman Reigns... Kind of had emerged this as well with uh, Brock Lesnar merging these belts since uh, Roman Reigns is now the undisputed uh, champion of the world. And now we have the Usos as the, as the bloodline. And you have to think about, about the other belts as well too. Take a look at the uh, the US uh, belt, the Intercontinental belt. So US belt, Theories have it, has it over on Raw. And the Intercontinental belt, we, uh, we have Ricochet on uh, the, the, the side of SmackDown. And it's been a slight rumored this as well, too. Uh, the Usos actually think they want to go out individually. How can you do that when you're a uh, tag team uh, champions? And they want to face both of these uh, guys. That, that way they can I really say they have all the gold in the world with the bloodline. I don't know about this. Okay, so this is another comment to you guys. What do you guys actually feel about this whole whole thing? Maybe uh, this the bloodline taking all the belts. I, I think I was kind of hoping this uh, bloodline would have been broken up a, a while back ago. Maybe Roman Reigns turning on Usos, or maybe the opposite Usos uh, turning on Roman Reigns. That didn't seem to happen. But will this uh, bloodline actually grow grow as it is? Will uh, Naomi join the bloodline? There's been rumors this is what that this as well too. And speaking of that too, the women's uh, tag team belts this as well too. This whole situation with uh, Naomi and Shasha Banks what's ha what just happened on Monday Night Raw of last week. You get, this is another question to you guys too, because I noticed uh, within the last month or so, actually maybe the last year, the tag team belts have been uh, really involved, not been really out in the show for ladies, I should say probably. And it, it feels like, is this really necessary to have the women's uh, tag team belts? I feel it, it is. And I think this is part of the conversation that kind of happened on Monday Night Raw with uh, both Shasha and Naomi uh, walking out. But of course you gotta think, is this a real thing or a fake thing. I, it, this could be always uh, like a storyline. You can't always trust what the WWE is going to actually bring. Uh, it's hard to uh, tell what's real or what's not. It, they always want to create story, uh, give some sort of a great thing. Because you, you got to think about this too. Joshua Banks and Naomi just as well too are great individuals. And uh, when I saw this uh, team form of uh, maybe like a couple months ago when they uh, first formed and won the tag team belts as it is, I was actually, I was happy about it, but where was the story actually going to go? Because you know, this, uh, both of them were reacting, one of them was going to turn on each one, you know that. 
But it's like the whole situation of last year with uh, Bailey and Shasha Banks actually breaking up and Bailey actually turning on a uh, turning heel on uh, Shasha Banks as well too. They were a great form, I gotta say. But ever since then, uh, it seems like yeah, Bailey and Shasha Banks were a great form of a tag team uh, women's uh, champion. What's gonna happen with the women's uh, tag team belts as well too? And this is another question for you guys as well too with the WWE Universe. What do you guys actually feel what's going to happen with that story this as well too? Do you actually think they will keep their tag team, women's tag team belts I should say? In this whole situation with uh, going back on uh, Friday Night Smackdown, I <laughs> I really I really felt like that was a big disappointment and then I, I, kind of, I really once again have to say this match uh, should have been a, a pay-per-view event. I have it on TV. You, you have to realize uh, there's going to be a time limit you got to realize, as uh, someone probably told uh, Roman Reigns to interfere with Paul Heyman at the same time, because you know the show is coming to an end. That, that match could have lasted a lot, lot more a lot more on Friday Night SmackDown. It's too bad uh, SmackDown doesn't have a three-hour show. That would be so, something to recommend in the future, i got to say. I know Monday Night Raw has a three-hour show. What about Friday Night SmackDown giving me a three-hour show? Maybe starting a little earlier. Maybe uh, they used to have it on Tuesday, but, but uh, around uh, the earlier time. They, they'd had it on Friday uh, when they first started. And now we're back on Friday Night SmackDown. What if we ha had a change to a different time to make it a three-hour show? Maybe like 7 to 10, something like that. That would be really cool. Leave some comments about that this as well, too. I think a three-hour SmackDown would be awesome because there's a lot of wrestlers that deserve uh, to be on the show and see what happens and try to get fight that chance to get the, uh, to be the tag, new to tag team belts. Who's going to uh, challenge for Roman Reigns for... The next challenge, I suppose, most likely going to be a Drew McIntyre as it is. But this, the whole story with that, too, is another thing, too, with our last pay per view. Why is Roman Reigns not defending his uh, belt? We don't have a, a 30 day uh, clause uh, where you have to defend the belt or you lose it. It seems like uh, the last time he, Roman Reigns actually has the, defended his belt was, it seemed like, 60 days ago. And, and still hit in the ramp uh, with him being the undisputed champion. It seems like. If you're the champion, you, you should be de defending your belt all the time. And I don't see that. I don't see why Reverend Reigns is getting all this uh, ring with being the best champion in the world when he doesn't defend his belt. So that's my thoughts, of course. What do you guys actually think about that? This as well, too. I'd love to hear from you guys. There's a lot going on this as well with the uh, this, uh, undisputed air. This as well. We have the tag team belts with the men. And we have it, uh, and Roman Reigns as the undisputed champion as it is. Will the same thing happen with the ladies as well? It's just a matter of time as it is. And will the women's tag team belt go away or will it actually stay? They, I'd love to see what happens. Once again, leave some comments down below. Love to, guys, love to hear what you guys have to say. I guess that wrapping things up saying, my name's Ryan. Uh, I'll see you next time for more wrestling talk. This has been an exciting year as it is. It's, it's been a really great time with watching wrestling the last for a while is because they've been having awesome matches as it is so anyways I, i'll talk to you guys next time and stay tuned for more wrestling talk i'll see you guys later bye